Hey, happy Monday, everybody. Mark again here, Weatherman Plus. Now, we have a strong storm that's been hitting the West Coast, still bringing that same flooding and bringing you chances for tornadoes for today. This is going to traverse across the country, bring you some, a little chance of severe weather as you go through Wednesday and go out through the Northeast, bring a little bit of rainfall as well. But next week, we have a powerful storm setting up. They're going to have all this all over again along the west coast as we get a strong system that comes in and gets that negative tilt that pivot to it as it comes across the country bring in some severe weather and some storms with that one as well now the first one is bringing a lot of snowfall in the higher elevations of california but it is bringing you chances for tornadoes as it goes through the early evening then as you go for tomorrow this is going to go further up towards oregon and washington with this system as the trough comes down and brings more flooding a little bit further south through california for tomorrow all the way till tomorrow night a lot of storms brewing up bringing a good bit of rainfall as well but the next storm next week is going to be even more powerful when you have cold air coming down as well so for today so far they do have chances for tornadoes the two percent and the five percent and here's your cities and states at risk for the best chance for tornadoes this is going to be early afternoon from noon time through 3 p.m you also have chances for winds. I'm showing them a little bit stronger than that and chances for hail. The National Weather Service just put a tornado or two may occur in the Sacramento Valley region of California today. You can also see with your winds aloft that this is going to be bringing some strong winds with those storms as well. And it is going to move a little bit further to the north as you go later for tonight. Also for tomorrow, this is going to keep going towards Oregon and Washington. This is bringing some winds right along the coast, but a lot more powerful winds through California. Showing it will pick up to the 40 and the 50 miles per hour wind gust in that yellow, but the red will be 60, even higher elevations in California when you're getting snow. You're getting 60 and 70 miles per hour wind gusts. And look, right along the coast, 50 miles per hour wind gusts. And as it comes in towards Utah, Nevada, some areas getting 40 up to 50 miles per hour wind gusts as well, the higher elevations. But look over here for Wyoming and Colorado, higher elevations getting that 60 and maybe even that 70 as that system traverses across. So you see this on your vorticity. So first you have these double spins. You bring in systems going to Oregon and Washington. While this is bringing storms to California. And as you go all the way until Wednesday, then it's going to come across the U.S. This is going to bring a period of severe weather with that as that comes across from Wednesday going into Thursday. Then you got that powerful storm that's going to be setting up on the West Coast while this goes out through the Northeast, bringing more rainfall. But then we're going to get the cold air that's going to punch through as you go through the weekend for this weekend coming up. And then that system is just going to sit there all along the West Coast and just spin and be strong and bring storms and precipitation in this region. Chances for tornadoes as well. But when you look at the beginning of it, starting overnight for friday morning all the way to friday afternoon sits there and spins for saturday for sunday then it moves in sunday evening into monday coming across the u.s it's going to sit there for a few days and get powerful i think you will have more tornado opportunities as this system comes across especially starting into this weekend as y'all getting that cold blast across the great lakes and the northeast so you can see this for today. You got the storms brewing up on the West Coast. You got the snow building up as well in the higher elevations. But this comes across as you come Wednesday into Thursday, and it comes right across the Kentucky Valley, right across the Ohio Valley and the Great Lakes, bringing some rainfall one day of severe weather. So far, maybe some hail as that goes out through the Northeast. Not meeting up with the cold temperatures, neither are you going to be getting, bringing any snowfall with that system. Then you got what's coming with next week. But we do have one day of severe weather on Wednesday as that low pressure system builds up and gets a little bit of severe weather showing it's just going to be hail so far. So far, here's your cities and states at risk from Wednesday going overnight into Thursday. And so far, that's what National Weather Service sees. Isolated thunderstorms potentially capable of severe hail are possible Wednesday night over the Ozarks. Plus, remember, when you look at your Arctic Oscillation, as we go into next week, this is when that cold air is going to start coming all the way back down again as we go through March. But look at this for Wednesday. As you go through Wednesday, your highs is going all the way to 15 and 20 degrees above average, but it's going all the way to 30 degrees above average for the upper Midwest. As you go through Wednesday, as you get that little bit of severe weather, 
Then Thursday, here it comes again, bringing more 20 up to 25 degrees above average. But then as you go through Friday, it's going to be last of your warm up in the Great Lakes and the Northeast because you got this cold air that's going to be coming through and bringing these below average temperatures for Friday and Saturday, maybe even kicking in all the way for Sunday, bringing y'all below average temperatures, or we get another above average bubble that pops up as we go through Sunday. Just the highs at 20 to 30 degrees above average. And then as we go into next week, then we'll get a strong anomaly kicking in. Why well, you got this huge above average pattern kicking in. Now you're getting above 30 to 35 degrees above average as that storm system comes by and brings all that warm temperatures all that warm precipitation coming off the gulf all the way to the north while you're getting below average on the west coast so you can see your temperatures as you go into saturday then you got the, some cooler air coming on down bringing the teen temperatures and single digits right back towards the great lakes the upper ohio valley and the northeast there's not your wind chills it's only your temperatures saturday into Sunday, and then as you go into Monday, it's going to start moving away while you got this huge warm bubble that's going to be passing in. But now you got the cold air coming in on the West Coast, and that's bringing you all that heavy snow coming with that strong system next week. And you can see this on National Weather Service 6 to 10 day temperature probability all the way to the 28th. Big above average bubble going to be pushing through while you blow average on the West Coast and blow average for Florida. As you go towards the first week of March, this is going to move over and everybody's still going to be in that above average bubble. But now you get that below average popping in just like I showed you on Friday. And here's your update. You can see how you got that below average moving in. Why you got that above average bubble kicking in all the way into Canada is by the 3rd of March. And as you go all the way towards the middle of March, that cold air is going to move through and it's going to spread out with our below average temperatures. Then as you go through meteorological spring towards the end of March, this cold air is actually going to move through and we're going to be below average to the beginning of April. Now, after this week, then we got that powerful storm that's going to sit there for next week. I will keep you updated. That's when all that cold air is going to swoop through, bring a lot of heavy snow as well. And it's going to bring storms from the center to the east coast of the U.S. So far, there's no outlooks for anything. All we got is a little bit of cape, a little bit of lift reaching north. It's not no super huge area at the moment. I will pinpoint this for you. Right now, it's too far to take too seriously it's past five days people are looking eight and nine days away trying to find something to talk about guys this is still days away but as we go through this week that is going to bring that little bit of precipitation with that and as you go through next week that powerful storm is coming through and it is bringing more heavier rainfall along the west coast and going right across the Ohio Valley, the Great Lakes, through the northeast. Now, the snowfall is actually coming on the west side where all this cold temperature is going to be. It's just going to keep adding up and adding and adding with all this cold air that's going to be locked in place over here. So it's going to bring a lot of snow towards Washington, Oregon, California, Utah, Nevada, Idaho, Montana, Wyoming, mostly western Wyoming, you're going to be right in the middle of this high ridge and this warm-up, also for western Colorado. But I just want to give you a quick update and not take up too much of your time, let you know what is coming after we deal with this week. So we do have a powerful storm coming. I will keep you updated. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you click that bell. That way you get the updates. Hit the like on the video, everybody. I hope you have a very great day today. Thank you so much for your time. Now, before you go today, Psalm 9, 1 through 5. I will praise thee, O Lord, with my whole heart. I will show forth all thy marvelous works. I will be glad and rejoice in thee. I will sing praise to thy name, O thou most high. When mine enemies are turned back, they shall fall and perish at thy presence. For thou hast maintained my right and my cause. Thou sattest in the throne judging right. Thou hast rebuked the heathen, thou hast destroyed the wicked, thou hast put out their name forever and ever. Amen. Have a great day, everybody. Enjoy this temperature swing we're about to get, but the storms are about to really pick up as we go into next week as well. So let's wake up into the spring, because the spring is going to be a very active one as it comes along. Looks like winter is going to stay a little longer than usual and just linger around. We will see.
But I appreciate every single one of y'all. Thank you for the day off yesterday. A family and I feeling so good. We went out in all that bright and abundant sunshine and got some vitamins from that as well. It was very nice yesterday. So thank you all for the day off. And remember, all glory always goes to God, our Father in heaven, Yahweh. And I hope he always keeps you safe. You and your family. And forever. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Amen. Have a great day. Everybody. <laughs>